wow, freaking sick. I am actually here right now. Let's go! This place is insane. I'm checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time. Hey guys, welcome back to Garrett Stadium Travel. This is Stadium Vlog number 14. Right now, I'm at home in Vancouver, British Columbia, but tonight is the start of a long day and a half journey to Seattle to catch a red-eye flight to Boston, Massachusetts, where tomorrow I will be watching the Boston Red Sox take on my favorite team, the Toronto Blue Jays at Fenway Park. Now, Fenway Park is the oldest and most iconic ballpark in Major League Baseball. It should be at the top of every baseball fan's bucket list. I'm super duper excited to check this place out. And uh, yeah, come along with me. Let's go. Hey guys, it's been a long day of travel so far, but we are here in Boston. We are heading to Fenway Park now. Let's go, I'm so excited. Hey guys, I'm up here in the upper level of Fenway Park and it is time for the Stadium Fact of the Day. To be honest, the Stadium Fact could have been so many different things because of the rich history that Fenway has. From the Green Monster, to Pesky's Pull, to Fisk's Pull, the Sitco sign, and much, much more. But after much deliberation, the Stadium Fact of the Day today is all about the red seat. Among a sea of green seats out in the outfield out there sits a lone red seat. This seat is painted red to commemorate the longest home run in the history of the ballpark that took place back in 1946. The home run was hit by Red Sox Hall of Famer Ted Williams. Other Red Sox legends like David Ortiz have questioned the legitimacy of the 502 foot moonshot back in the day. It's still cool to visualize how far 502 feet is at the time frame uh, and a fact a ball can even be hit that far. Gonna explore this iconic ballpark a bit more and then grab some food. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm out here in the outfield of Fenway Park and it's time for best of the ballpark. This is a segment where I try unique or famous foods from all the ballparks I visit. Today we got the Fenway Frank. Now what makes a Fenway Frank unique is the fact that they boil and grill the hot dog. A lot of hot dogs are either grilled or boiled, but this one is both on what looks like just a piece of white bread. So I got it with uh, ketchup and relish. That's how I like them. So we're gonna give it a try. I mean, it's a hot dog. Uh, it's it's okay. <laughs> I would say five out of ten. It's one of the better uh, hot dogs I've had, you know. Uh, but yeah, five out of ten uh, for the Fenway Frank. We'll see if it's better than the Dodger dog. Um, stay tuned. So uh, yeah, gonna explore a bit more and then uh, hopefully enjoy a great game. Let's go.
It's a final here from Fenway Park. The Red Sox won it 11 to five. This place is incredible, so iconic, so awesome. I had an awesome time. Uh, gonna stay down here for a bit, uh, enjoy this place, and then head back to the hotel and tell you guys what I saw. Peace out for now. Hey guys, just got back from Fenway Park. Super, super cool game, iconic ballpark. Uh, so I'm gonna get in quickly, very quickly to what I saw. I'm super tired. Uh, I'm just gonna preface this by saying that. Uh, so first, atmosphere. Atmosphere was amazing. When you think of the state of Major League Baseball right now, the crowd was almost sold out. It was great. The crowd was engaged. Sweet Caroline, loved it. Uh, they didn't have a lot of 
in in game stuff like in terms of like challenges and stuff like that and like dancers i mean i guess baseball teams don't really have dancers but it was really bare bones but i think that kind of plays into what the red sox are doing with fenway park so i absolutely loved it uh yeah crowd was fully engaged i mean great great place to watch a game atmosphere just amazing and next up is venue i mean the one word i would use to describe this place is iconic and that's just what it is you can say oh it's old small concourses but it's iconic it's fenway park you're not going to change fenway park to make it this ideal ballpark because that's not fenway park that's not the boston red sox right so it's perfect in every way it's iconic even if it's not right that's just the way i look at it and the one thing i really really loved was the old style concession signs unreal just absolutely love that part that small touch and uh yeah uh, next up is Access. Access is pretty good. Uh, public transit, you have the green line and the purple line. They're different kinds of trains, but they kind of do the same thing. They connect you to Boston's transit system, which is one of the best in America, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, uh, if you're driving in, there's kind of a neighborhood feel. So there is some congestion. If you are driving in, always plan your trip accordingly. It's what I always say. And uh, yeah, Access was really good too. Uh, pricing was good. I mean, it's expensive, but what I will say is that you get what you're paying for. So you're gonna, you're gonna overspend at Fenway Park, I would say, but it's completely worth it. The experience if you're a baseball fan, completely worth it every single time. So this one's short, this one's sweet, but um, I'm giving Fenway Park a 10 for atmosphere, a 10 for venue, an eight for access, and an eight for pricing, bringing it to a total of 36 out of 40. This place is a must-see. You know, it's a must-see. If you're a baseball fan, you have to see this place. It's unreal. It's unreal. You know, you have to pinch yourself, you know, when you're sitting in the crowd and you think about how old this place is and how it's still standing in a part of baseball history. And now if you watch a game, you're a part of that baseball history, which is just super cool. So yeah, you got to go to Fenway Park. So yeah, this has been stadium vlog number 14. Uh, this was a super awesome, super awesome vlog to make. I'm, I'm super tired. So maybe the quality isn't as great as it usually is, but I, I tried not to film as much during the game just to kind of soak in the experience of this one. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to wrap it up here. I uh, got some more games coming, so stay tuned. Uh, as always, I'm checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time. Check out some of my other videos and uh, give this a like, subscribe, all that stuff uh, if you enjoyed. So yeah, peace.